Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at something really awesome and that is this armor stand jump scare, which is designed to scare the pants off of all of your mates. So if we take a look at the redstone behind it, you can see that it is very simple indeed. Pretty much all of it is powered by this one single piston because not only does it launch the armor stand outwards, it also breaks the door automatically, which means that everything happens extremely quickly and anyone standing in front of it should get one hell of a surprise. Now this little thing is good for minigame builders, custom map makers and people on servers who fancy ruining other server members days. Essentially it is good for everyone and it is also very easy to build indeed using very little resources so let's take a closer look at how to do it. So you want to get things started with a 3x4 area, your door is going to be going right here and the first thing that you want to do is replace that block with a piece of compressed ice or regular ice. That means that the armor stand will fly out instead of slowly moving out, which isn't particularly scary. Then you want to go out to the back, place a sticky piston there with a slime block on its face, then a block next to it with redstone dust like that, a repeater, and then some more redstone dust right here. And that is all of the redstone work done. Onto the decoration elements. The first thing that I would suggest is using stairs after your compressed ice because if you keep this all on the same level, it doesn't work. The armor stand doesn't go through the doorway and all in all, it isn't particularly scary. So next up, I'm going to create the doorway itself. I'm using nether brick because I think that looks the creepiest, but obviously you can use what you want. And then now it is time to actually put in the armor stand and the door. So the first thing you want to do is place in your armor stand, give it all the armor and the skulls that you want. You can do whatever you want with that one. And then you want to go down to the block and right click with the door. And as you can see, the armor stand and the door are both in the same block. Now for some optional bits. If you want the armor stand to continue moving after it's popped out the door, then all you have to do is create a little ice trail that goes along like this, and then I would suggest camouflaging it using some form of carpet. It is going to be noticeable, but in a darkly lit cave, no one's really going to be looking at that. Now if we head around the back here, you can also see that I've got an added command block that will play the horrendous noise of an enderman dying. It's extremely loud and will probably be fairly scary on its own. So now all we have to do is chuck down the button and when we hit it, you will see we get the noise and also the armor stand flying out at us. All in all, I think it's going to make a pretty sweet jump scare. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.